the daughter, mm -hmm. dancing with her in public. Mm -hmm. What role model? Hi guys! Hello everyone! Welcome back again to another video. Yes. In today's video, I will want to talk about all just our point of view, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Regarding that Ghanaian pastor so, that... <laughs> there is something that happened last time when Pastor Jerry is went to Ghana for NSPB. Yeah, all of you have already seen that. Yes, I know so, most of you have watched it already. We always take our time mm -hmm. and observe and also wait mm. to know, you know, the, fact. the two sides mm. and the fact. Yeah, so, so that we don't uh, give you wrong information, information. or the things our own opinion be. So what is your opinion on that, love? We are not here to mislead, but we are here yeah. to lead and to direct Amen. proper. Amen. So let's jump into the talk. Yeah. And we all know Pastor Jerry Z went, went to, to Ghana, Ghana with his yeah. whole team, right? Yeah. And they had amazing time. And the time. Ghana was super, so, super, super turnout, oh, like uh, never before. It's like the whole Ghana finished on that field. I'm telling you. There was no space. They couldn't even find a convention hall Imagine. where to have that program. They have to look for empty space. Empty space, just like, to. Uh, let's say an uh, 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 airport they are about to construct just took the place, make use of it, it was it not was even enough nice, for them. Yeah? It was super nice. So there is uh, one man of God who came up on social media. He was so, you know, aggressive. He was speaking, talking about how the Ghanaians <laughs> all, you yeah. know, he said, even including those who are outside country. Country, that combat, they give money to they came those back churches. And donate money. They <laughs> came, all the whole Ghanaians turned out. For Pastor Jerry, he said, he said, how many Ghanaian pastors or prophets do have had a program mm. and such crowd turn out? He said, none. He was so angry. He but said, wait, is it what? okay for, <laughs> for him to be angry in such a way? What? Uh, that anger is not holy anger. Yes. My brothers, it's my like sisters. There is jealous inside it. My dear, this one passed jealousy. Yes, there is jealous inside it because if you know you're a man of God, you don't need to be in that so much aggressive to speak those words yeah. alone. That means the word is coming from your mouth, it's actually within. Because the Bible out of the belly flow yes, rivers of, flow the water. River of living water. And what from the abundance of the heart? The mouth speaketh. Speaketh the truth. And Jesus said, it's not what you put in that kill you. It is what you use to speak from your mouth. Yes. Uncle. So. So, my people, this is our pastor. We are not saying he's a wicked person. Mm -mm. We are not judging him. But we just want to use this too. He allowed the spirit of hunger and the spirit of uh, what jealousy. Is it? jealousy to control to him. Through him. Yeah, through him at that moment. Because if not, see, there is something people need to understand. Mm. Your grace and the other person's grace is not the same. For where? How the operation the this person operates and your own operation, it cannot be the same. You don't need to copy or to look at the crowd because him now is looking after the crowd, mm. after the money which is going to come after mm. and after the other resources. Mm. You know, it's like talking for himself, not for God. Mm. It's just pointing him for himself that people are not coming. That means if the people come to him, mm. he's going to get rid as he says. You understand? But it's not supposed to be like that. As the longer you know that you are man of God and you are leading to lead the nation, mm. you don't need a, you don't allow the spirit of hatred mm. because that is a part of hatred mm. for you to have towards other pastor. Okay. Now, what you speak shows your heart towards the person you are talking about. He said, Ghana didn't turn out. Yeah. Like Mama said, don't weigh your capacity with that person. Mm -hmm. The crowd you see, how the person function. The question you need to ask yourself, did you pay the price the person pay? Correct. So if true. you have not paid the price, yes. okay, go back. See, remember the scripture said, that the same spirit 
give each man accordingly how he wants and he choose how you use it. So if some are giving prophet, some are giving gift of healing, prophecy, healing, knowledge, a vision, mm. wisdom, different. Mm. Now, what is given to you, what you need to do is to go and enhance it. It's true. Okay, work on it. The more you become faithful in what you have, it what will increase. If I'm faithful with the gift of healing, mm. it will increase. Gift of prophecy, it will increase. Gift of, gift of knowledge, it mm. will increase. Not vision, yeah. it will increase. Wisdom, it will increase. Is what you pay attention to, is what you increase. If you are good in management, if you pay attention to it, you will be good. You will manage anything that they give you. But if you are not, if that is not what is given to you, mm. or God be contented and focus on what is given to you. Yeah. Now, another thing I observe, which I want us to learn, is that, remember the Bible said, a prophet is not even honored in his own hometown. Yeah. So if you are not honored in your country as a prophet or pastor, don't feel bad. Go back to the scripture, console yourself. And, <laughs> hey, Console yourself. It's really console yourself. And keep doing your work with God. So true. Just be faithful with God. Mm, he, will, he will put you One through. day, see, if you celebrate the another oil, man of God. The oil over your life, it will increase. Is what you celebrate is what you will get. It's true. If, I, if you don't celebrate grace, grace will not come to you. So true. If Pastor Jerry Eze has that grace to mm. pull such a crowd, mm. all you need to do is to celebrate his grace. Not yet. And it's so true. Ask the Holy Spirit, what price did he pay? Exactly. That is what if you can know the price, pay the same price. But I tell you, you might not be able to pay the price. Mm. Because even before you finish paying the price, you might not exit from this country to the other side. To the kingdom. Come. Because if you know what he stays away from, you don't want to stay away from it. Yeah. You say, make a evil. Like Abu used to say, if they tell a poor man what a rich man did to make money, mm. to become so wealthy, mm. he will say, it's better I become wealthy. Let me just stay in my lane. <laughs> yeah. Stay your lane, I stay my lane. Let me stay in my lane. Raga, keep, keep do. do you know that man does not sleep? So true. Very rare you see him resting. Can you pay the price? That is a Not just to be rich, you know, to maintain the riches. Yes. Because what he's doing to and maintain also, what is the grace for is him here. to reach that place mm. is what he has been sowing for long. <clears throat> that is the price now. So now is the time for him for God to bless him through it's any time of ways. Reaping. Yes, it's reaping what he has sowed. Do you know how long he, now, he took to nurture that gift? But you talking about the finance which ah. other people are pouring because he has given something which God has blessed him by healing people, speaking mm. a word of prophecy over them. And God is working through him. And he's accepting that day by day is growing more and more. You, sir, how much price did you... Are you willing to pay? Yes, are you willing to pay it? And if you do that, do not allow little grudge or little jealousy to come in your church. We are men of God. And again, there's something I observe. Hmm. See, your pulpit is not a platform for you to criticize hmm. or warn your, warning your country or cursing people. Hmm. The pulpit that God gives you, that platform, you see that altar, is given for repentance. Hmm. bringing change bringing transformation in the life of people correcting people but using sentimental words sentiment words there are words that are sentimental if you are using sentimental words they are not good hmm. what are you teaching your congregation and what are you teaching the young because pastors? Because like putting seed inside You are sowing the seed hatred, in the heart seed. of the young pastors Between that are coming two. up. Yes. So what you say from the platform where you are standing they are going really to take matters it. a lot. So true. Even when you are trying to defend yourself, mm. be careful what you say. True. So that 
you don't sow bad seed in the in mind, the mind of, people, of people. Yeah. In the mind of young prophet pastors who are just see in your congregation, there are prophets, there are pastors, people there are who are appointed. There are prophetess yes. whom God have chosen. Yes. You can direct or miss you can you, lead them properly or mislead them from what you are saying from your platform. Certainly. Even there are those outside the platform mm. that God also is going to speak through you. Mm. What comes out of you? You are a role model. In fact, you are the best role model in the whole world. Mm. Because nobody can equal the Christ-like in you. Certainly. If you allow it to, to, to flourish, if you allow it to, to, uh, uh, to radiate everywhere, People will change overnight. Just imagine it in this way. That this prophet or pastor came out and said, I want all Ghanaians mm. to celebrate, to join me to celebrate. Celebrate, yeah. Pastor Jerry, Jerry Eze. Mm. For what God used him, mm. for how God used him in the nation of Ghana. Ghana yeah. How God have used him to heal so many people, mm. break chain causes that have been in this country for so long mm. that even most of us were not able to break because we don't have what it takes. Let's celebrate the grace Let's of Let's celebrate him mm. and we pray that God will help us mm. to mount high like him mm. and to become a voice to our nation. Mm. If he say it for sure, there are other men of God that will say, why will he wow. say so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my brother, if you celebrate, even if other people, other pastors ask you, why will you say so? Mm. My brother, as you celebrate that grace, oh, grace, they come to your house. Exactly. You know what I've learned for a very long time? I will celebrate your grace, even in your presence, in your absence. Mm. You may not even value me celebrating your grace. You may not even see that I'm celebrating you, mm. but I will celebrate your grace because what I celebrate is what come to me. Yes. Maybe if we, if we, that grace has not begun to function in my life at this point, mm. perhaps God don't want it to begin to manifest now. Now, yeah. What I'm doing, I'm accumulating grace. It's true. Accumulating grace. When the time comes, it will the way up, yeah. it will explode. Yes. Even you that have you that are, I tap the grace from you. You will shock you. You, you will you will be very shocked to lies. You like, yeah. What am I seeing? Hmm. Where did this guy went to take something from? <laughs> you mean, this guy That's have to, take, uh, have taken something? Yes, no, no, he did not take anything. Oh. See, it's like when you are going to farm to sow a seed. So you are you are sowing the seed, uh, cleaning uh, cleaning the whole weeds. Hmm. It takes time. Take time. People are saying uh, nothing is happening. Hmm. My dear, keep what you are doing. Keep doing what you are doing. Hmm. When the time come. Yeah. So, so guys, mm -hmm. as you guys know, mm. I will come to the end of the today uh, talk show. Yes. So kindly tell us your own opinion and mm. your own thought. Don't just say it, but think over it. Think and, right. And uh, bring your own contribution in this kind of topic. It's very sensitive and also be careful. The word you use because yes, it's very, very important. Mm. Okay. So thank you so much, my beautiful, amazing people. I'm super, super happy mm -hmm. to come today and have our husband with us. We always have a good time anytime mm. when he's around. So yeah, come to the end of the video. Still your baby. Rosa Kashi in the building in everything you do. Put God first. Yeah. Thank you and God bless you. Share like and subscribe that's all bye